Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Wednesday, the 1st of April, 2020. April 1st. Happy April Fools, everybody. Happy April Fools. I hope everybody is having a great day. These energies are still pretty heavy on me. Not quite, still not quite 100% yet, but doing a little bit better. But let's start this, let's start this day off with a blessing. Dear Spirit, guides, dear Creator, dear Universe, please give us a blessing for this first day of April 2020, fourth month, new year. Blessing for this day. And this is the card that we get this morning, guys. This is the this is a tree. This is like as above, so below. That what you see on the surface is what grows below the soil with a tree. As above, so below. The blessing is called a blessing without borders. In essence, we are living energy flowing through the ocean of human consciousness, spiritual beings moving through cycles of life, birth, death, and rebirth. We are all interconnected and in communion with each other, no matter how much physical space appears to separate us. Feel the blessed presence of someone you love this moment in your heart. Oh, goodness gracious. That is beautiful. That is so important. That blessing, we are interconnected. We are all a part of each other. You are just as much a part of me as I am a part of you. And that's why when I tell you guys, I love you. I love you. I mean it. I love you because you're part of me. I love me. I love you. Love is the easiest thing that we can give because it's free, but it's the hardest thing because we put so many conditions on it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So today I want to talk about um, the first question um, that I got. I, I got from several different readers, but the, the reader's name that I wrote down was Shelly R., and this is about people panicking. Um, people are panicking. I guess there's uh, rumors going around that there's armed marauders going on. I don't know what all this is. What I need for you guys to understand is during this time, we already saw what happened with the toilet paper, okay? We, we've seen what happens in Walmart. Okay, so you've already had a preview of how humans are prone to react. Therefore, it, nothing is going to surprise you. However, if you are a person who has lived your whole life without the need of a firearm, I doubt you need to get one now. If you are, you cannot live in fear. You cannot. Um, all these questions about people wanting to buy guns because they think people are going to break in their houses or hurt them or come and steal their toilet paper. Guys, the first thing that the law of attraction tells us is that which we keep calling is what's going to happen. So if you're panicking, and you're living in fear, you are going to draw all that negativity to you. Invest in good locks. Make sure that you secure your house. If you buy a gun and you're not a gun person, the likelihood of that gun being taken from you and used against you goes up. The likelihood of you taking that firearm and firing in the dark out of fear and hitting your husband, your wife, your child, your grandchild. There is no need for anyone to live in fear. Fear, 
that old saying, there's nothing to fear but fear itself because fear is the enemy. Fear is the enemy. That emotion, that emotion that lends nothing to our lives, it only takes from us. Do not live in fear, guys. Be safe. Be sane. Be intelligent. Do not dwell. Fear is a low vibration. It is a very low vibration. And that's part of what this we have to break out of this cycle of being afraid, okay? I'm going to get off this soapbox. Don't live in fear and don't go buy a gun if you're not a gun person because if you can't pull the trigger and shoot somebody, a gun is not going to do you any good. And some a gun in the hands of a scared person, oh my God, that's, that's calamity. That's that's calamity. That is the worst thing you could possibly do. Invest in good locks. Use good sense. Make sure you know your neighbors. Stay safe. Communicate. If you have to go somewhere, ask your neighbors to keep a lookout for your property. This is the part of the community that we have to get back to, guys. We have to learn to, to love each other, to know each other. That way we can depend on each other and we learn to trust each other. And we become the community that we were always meant to be. We become the village because we take care of each other out of love. Okay? So... My first question question is from Amelia B, a new subscriber. Welcome, Amelia. And her question is, will McConnell lose control of the Senate before November? That is an excellent question. Uh, it's a yes or no question, so I'm going to draw six cards. And will McConnell lose control of the Senate before November? Will the will McConnell lose control of the Senate before November? I guess that's good. Okay. First card we have is the Four of Rods. And this, guys, is my GOP Happy Family card. Okay. This is everything's turning up roses for the GOP. And it's crossed by the the six of of rods this is victory let's keep going and see what it's does it yes or no will mcconnell lose control of the senate before november what's above him is the eight of pentacles below is the world in reverse in front of is the Knight of Swords. Behind is the Six of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck is the Moon. So, Amelia, no, it doesn't look like he's going to lose control of the Senate before November. It does not look that way. The second question that I have is for Maureen K. And her question is a little bit different. This is, she's got some friends down in Ecuador. Good morning, Maureen. She's got some friends that are down in Ecuador that are quarantined down there. And she wants to know how it, will the coronavirus affect Ecuador? How will the coronavirus affect Ecuador? Okay. And I, I guess I want you, I, I'm wondering if you want to know if your friends are going to be okay. And so I'm going to throw that in. I'm just, I'm assuming, so hopefully I'm not incorrect. Um, I guess you wanted to know how your friends are doing or if they're going to be okay down there. Okay. Okay. How will the coronavirus affect Ecuador? <clears throat> the first card we have is the Five of Swords, and this is picking up the pieces after a battle. And, you know, all these small countries, you know, everybody is suffering under these conditions. The second card, the crossing card, is the Seven, uh, Major Arcana, the Chariot. And this is events moving quickly. What's above is the Lovers. This is unions, um, partnerships, togetherness. 
love. Below is the three of rods waiting for the ship to come in. In front of is the page of cups, and this is good news here. Good news. And what's behind is the Knight of Pentacles, um, which is a steady sage person. That's just somebody who is staying in wait. They're, they're ready to go if you need them. Um, I'm going to pull a couple more. The seventh card out is the uh, Six of Cups, the Happy Childhood. The eighth card out. We got a lot of swords and cups in this reading here. Is the the uh, the six of swords, the travel by water, and you have to travel by water to get to Ecuador. Well, no, you don't. No, you don't. You can go over land. And the ninth card out is the Knight of Swords. Wow, more things happening quickly. And the last card is the Juggler. The two of pentacles. So, Maureen, what I what I'm seeing in this reading is that um, after your, it, it seems like they're just they're they're traveling on like everybody else in the rest of the world. There's nothing here that's 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 saying there's anything bad that's going to happen. So I'm going to say I think Ecuador and your friends are going to they're going to come through as best they can. Everybody is is struggling through this. But I I don't I don't see a no and I don't see any calamity, okay? So it doesn't look like there's anything bad that's going to happen to them or that's going to happen to the to Ecuador or to the Ecuadorian people. So it, it just looks like everybody's just in the same boat. Everybody's suffering to the same extent. So that was my reading for today, guys. If these energies are weighing heavy on you, please, guys, try to center yourself. Silence yourself. Be quiet and still in meditation. Light a candle, light some incense. It really helps. If you have sage, guys, burn sage and take it into, <clears throat> excuse me, every room of your house. Sage is a wonderful, wonderful gift from the creator. It literally sanitizes the air. It kills bad things that live in your air. And it makes your house smell like sage, but... Believe me, you burn it long enough, you don't even smell it anymore. I love you guys. Please, please, we are in the danger time now for the virus. Because people have been cooped up and are behaving recklessly. People are out and about that shouldn't be out and about. People are, are behaving like there's absolutely nothing going on in the world right now, that there's not a pandemic. This is where being smart will keep you alive. I love you. I want you all to be safe and sane and happy. So please, 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 please. I know it's the first. Everybody's got bills to pay and need to stock up on restock up on supplies. If you must be out and about, three things. Wear gloves. If you have even the slightest sniffle or cough, cover your face with a bandana or a mask if you have one. Abbreviate your visits. Make a list. Get what you got to get and get out. And make sure that when you get home, you remember to, you know, Lysol off or spray off bags or whatever you need to do. Wash your fruits and vegetables like you would normally do. Just think about how to keep yourself safe. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys. Oh, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.